Got a broken bone? Missing a limb? Haunted by ghosts? Well, we've got you covered. Even if you're currently on fire, Fungus Alchemical Emporium has the answers for all your predicaments. Are you in dire need of a solution for life's most challenging problems? Look no further. Welcome to Fumbus Alchemical Emporium, where the extraordinary is just an elixir away. Low self-esteem? We can help with that. Terrible memory? We can help with that. Trouble sleeping? We can help with that. Chained to a corporeal body? We can help with that. Come down to Fumbus's Alchemical Emporium and we will fix all of your problems today! Disclaimer. All Fumbus's Alchemical Emporium products have a small chance of being highly explosive. Do not jump, run, or perform high endurance sports after consuming a potion from Fumbus's Alchemical Emporium. Side effects include nausea, hand foot syndrome, loss of smell, loss of sight, gain of consciousness, unusual dreams, inability to be still, inability to move, and sudden combustion. Let's get geared up! As an alchemist, you are a master of potions, poisons, and bombs. You concoct formulas and create elixirs that can mend wounds, enhance abilities, or create explosive chaos. From level 1, you are able to craft alchemical items. Not only do you get the alchemical crafting skill feat for free, you can also craft some items for free. Every day, during your daily preparations, you can prepare an amount of reagents equal to your level plus your intelligence modifier. These are your infused reagents. Your infused reagents are destroyed the next time you perform your daily preparations, before you create new ones, so make use of them. You can use your reagents to create alchemical items in advance or on the fly. Using advanced alchemy, you can use one batch of alchemical reagents to craft two alchemical items of your level or lower, ignoring the usual time and cost of crafting said item. Quick alchemy adds spontaneity to your arsenal. Create items with just an action, and it won't cost you a dime. Perfect for when you need a smokestack to disappear into the shadows or an acid flask to dissolve obstacles. So, at the start of the day, you can prepare some healing potions, and as the day goes by, use your quick alchemy to craft other items that might come in handy, like more healing potions. But what items can you craft exactly? When you gain this feature at level 1, you can pick 4 common formulas from the alchemical item list, off your level of course. On top of that, you have a recipe book with 2 level 1 formulas already in it, so you start with 6 formulas on your little notebook. As you level up, you learn 2 more formulas each level, and you can write down formulas that you find through the world. Also at level 1, you choose your research field. Your studies of alchemy led you to focus on a specific field. You can be a bomber, specializing in making things disappear, using the lost art of blowing stuff up. The Churgeon, on the other hand, focuses on keeping you together. You are able to craft more healing potions, and you can use craft instead of medicine for everything, even prerequisites. The Mutagenist manipulates the physical and mental powers of people, empowering one part of them while sacrificing the other. Finally, the Toxicologist focuses on poisons and toxins. Your field of study grants you additional formulas for your formula book, your signature formulas. When you use advanced alchemy, you create three of your signature item instead of two. At level 5, you make an additional discovery. Depending your field of study, you expand your signature formulas. Now, every time you craft an item from your field of study, you create three instead of two. So the whole signature item thing? Forget about it. Also at level 5, your chemical items become more potent. When you create an item using quick alchemy, you can change the item DC to your class DC. At level 7, your simple weapons, unarmed attacks, and alchemical bomb proficiency increases to expert. Now you can lob bombs at enemies with a little bit more accuracy. Perhaps this time you won't blow up your allies. Also, your will saves increase. Huffing toxic vapors all day seems to have improved your mental capacity somehow. Also at level 7, you can craft two alchemical items without spending reagents. These items depend on your field of study, so now you can make more bombs. At level 9, your class DC increases to expert. Usually, I would joke about it, but for once, class DC actually matters. Now your poisons and bombs have a higher DC. Your perception also increases to expert. Nothing can hide from your big kaboom. So at level 9, you learn to craft two items at once. When you use quick alchemy, you can spend two reagents to craft two items in the same action instead of one. At level 11, your body hardens. Your fortitude increases to master. Probably because you keep mixing up the coffee and the poison in your breakfast. Hate it when that happens. Also at level 11, you can craft items from your research field for free if you use quick alchemy. More bombs? Don't mind if I do. 
At level 13, your research yields incredible results. You learn an incredible discovery, depending on your field of study. You can double up on poisons, increase the range of your kabooms, or heal the maximum hit points from your potions. And your armor proficiency increases to expert, so overall, a good time. At level 15, you can craft up to three items using quick alchemy in a single action. I hope you have a bag of holding, because you might have way too many things at this point. Also at level 15, your reflex saving throws increase to master. When you roll a success on the reflex saving throw, you get a critical success instead. At level 17, your class DC increases to master, so your poisons and bombs are even more dangerous. You also pick more items than you can craft without using reagents. At this point, you must be swimming in items. Finally, at level 19, after discovering the secrets to infinite items, becoming the most celebrated scientist in the realm, and probably winning the Nobel Prize, you increase your armor proficiency to master. Here are a few sample builds. Focus on intelligence for potent brews, dexterity for nimble escapes from your own concoctions, and constitution to withstand the occasional explosive mishap. And there you have it, the journey of an alchemist. From concocting curatives to wreaking explosive havoc, your alchemical adventure awaits. Embrace the power of Fungus's alchemical emporium and make every problem vanish in a puff of smoke.